there YouTube I have another battle revolution battle here for you and I believe it's against yeah I'm gonna let you know right now that Electivire and Magmortar did not come against this fight I guess apparently this guy thought he can or at least saw my team and thought he could beat me but yeah you you already know how that happened how that went so I start with at least Star Raptor and did I bring Mojers? yeah I start with Star Raptor and Articuno I bring uh, Xeno and my Moltres yeah anyway all right, the battle is going to start now he leads with Giratina and Palkia. I lead with Star Raptor and Articuno. So he gets his really long first turn over. Alright, now that they're done intimidating each other, I lead with Brave Bird on Giratina. Do I Brave Bird Giratina? I don't think I do. I think I go for Palkia just so I can try to get it low and have Articuno, Ice Beam, Giratina since I would obviously be faster. But yeah, Articuno is not faster than Giratina. But I do at least get some major damage on Palkia. Uh, Star Raptor goes first. Go for Brave Bird. And it, it hits it pretty hard. I mean, I kind of expected it to, but I just hate the fact that it doesn't ever like KO. It's it's really annoying. And again, another Palkia or I think it's that thing called another Giratina feels like it has to go away. It is one thing I notice about people. People seem well that don't know anything about the game. They tend to attack a legendary and don't hate Star Raptor or Pidgeot any mind considering Star Raptor here is clearly stronger than Articuno but I was like alright so I'm just gonna um, call back send in Pidgeot and let that be the target of the um, Shadow Force when he comes back in so Jet, that's what I do so I uh, send in Pidgeot I go for Brave Bird just to finish off the Palkia Harvest would have just went quick attack because it would have KO'd, so I would have had to take any more recoil damage other than just life orb itself. But that's just me not thinking. Um, anyway, uh, Palkia goes down. Take my life orb damage. Your team uses Shadow Forge and uses it on Star Raptor. I'm like, wow, really? You could use a Ghost type attack on a normal type Pokemon. That's how I knew this guy really didn't know what he was doing. And, yeah. So, I. Um, have Star Raptor use close combat on Diago. I was like, it might KO, but my Zangus can't even KO uh, Diago with close combat, so I was thinking it might not. So I was like, whatever. So I just have uh, Pidgey out here to go for Faint Attack on Giratina. Just because it's, well, it's not Stab, but it's at least Choice Man, so I thought it might hit it pretty hard. And yeah, that barely lives which is lame. I go for Fiend Attack. I think it does like 33% to it or something like that. It's been pretty close to that, but it wasn't as strong as I would have liked it to be. So he uses Aura Sphere or Star Raptor, and that's obviously going to finish it off. And then he thought it was a good idea to use Roar of Time on Pidgeot, but that's fine. That just gives me a chance to actually set up and then KO that thing later, which is what I do. Okay, so now I sent in Articuno and Motors because I'm more than confident Motors will outspeed everything he has here. Okay, so Articuno, I decide Articuno Roost so I can get the damage off of it. And I just have Articuno, 
or you know, I have motors go for uh, Choice Specs Air Slash on Giratina. Just kind of hoping for the flinch, so that way it can't shadow force and I take unnecessary damage to when I have to. Alright, so I shadow force here. Shadow force. I air slash here. Take it down pretty low. It gets flinched, which is awesome. And Articuno roost off its damage, so I'm almost full. Giaga can't move because of the recharge it had to take. And I go for Ice Beam on Giaga since I found out my Articuno is faster than it. So that's pretty cool. And I just have Motors go for another Air Slash. I was actually kind of hoping it doesn't miss. Air Slash, it hits and finishes off Giratina, which is awesome. Because I don't need that thing. I don't even know what Giratina's going to do. I haven't really seen a good one. And I Ice Beam just to finish off the Dialga, and it goes down. So I don't know, I'm actually kind of thinking my bird team just works a lot better in doubles than singles. Because I have a hard time trying to win with this team in singles, but I just threw it on doubles kind of randomly and it, it's it won. So I was like, alright, that's cool. So he sends in his Alceus, or how do you pronounce the thing's name? I was like, I don't want to risk a hidden power on it or a signal beam. So I just went for stab ice beam because it looked like it was a normal type. So that's what I did. And I'm stuck in to air slash, so I have to go for air slash. And I go for air slash, hit it, and it's super effective. I'm like, awesome, this thing might be grass, so it might be weak to it. And he goes away, I ice beam, and it doesn't do anything because it, it missed. So I say screw, go for ice beam again because I know Motors is going to miss, and then when the Alceus comes back, I can kill it off with ice beam if it KOs so I go air slash it misses because it's not there here's my shadow force this Articuno doesn't do anything and Articuno does ice beam and it's it wasn't super effective so I'm sitting here trying to figure out which plate it had on it I thought about it it's like what else is weak against flying and I was like well fighting weak against flying I was like hold on really you put a fighting type plate on that why it makes almost no sense in uber since like most of the things people use is psychic but I guess you can't tell people how to play so yeah that was the game right there and yeah just that I guess so I guess I'll be seeing you guys a little bit later on today then I do have some more battles I need to get up before 3 o'clock so look forward to those